Anticipated 4K Blu-rays of 2017 in this bitch. Let's just get on with it. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Tax in this. Bitch. You already know, existing subscribers, I love you guys, 1,000 strong. There's going to be some movies coming out of the first half of the year, which I know will make it to 4K or Blu-ray towards the end of the year. So I'm going to give you my list based on those things. And it's not a top 10, I'm just going to run through a list. Right, so the first one, I hope it does make it to 4K this year. There's no reason why it shouldn't. I know it's definitely coming to Blu-ray soon. Rogue One in 4K Blu-ray. God damn! You guys know something embarrassing? I ain't even seen Rogue One yet. I didn't even get a chance. That shit fucked up around here. Every time I was ready to see it, it was just sold out. So I just didn't get a chance and I couldn't make it in the daytime. When it was available, I couldn't see that bitch. So I want to see that shit in 3D and in 4K. Another one's going to be with me in a few days and that's Hacksaw Ridge. That looks like a very visceral experience. And Mel Gibson's always good with the direction. And from what I can see, it looks like the HDR and the added depth Resolution is going to definitely add to that movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really looking forward to watching that. Passengers, another one. That movie I did see. I actually really love that movie. Uh, I kind of expected it to be a certain way, and it was that way. But the performances just took it over the edge. Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt. You know what? I know I'll be saying Chris Pratt be playing himself in every movie, just like Tom Hanks do. He's a great actor, and so is she. And the chemistry, and uh, just the special effects, and the way the movie was shot. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie, and I'm expecting a very good transfer on 4K. I'm really looking forward to that one as well. Goes without saying, I haven't seen this one yet either, but John Wick Chapter 2. John Wick on, on 4K looks beautiful, right? So I know this is going to look even better. And just looking at the trailer of it, some of the locations look like it's designed with 4K in mind. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that one too. Coming out in a matter of weeks, Logan. God damn, I'm excited about the movie. Can you imagine the HDR on that bitch? That's another one I'm really looking forward to. Kong, Skull Island, the trailer's just screaming, look at me. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful looking movie. I don't know whether the movie itself is going to be any good. Tarzan on 4K was beautiful. I got a feeling that this is going to be more of the same. It looks like it's, it's got all the right elements to make it a stellar 4K release. I believe, and I could be wrong, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is shot in 8K. God damn! Can you imagine how that shit would look in 4K? It looks like it could be the one. We're going to have to wait and see for that one. Gal Gadot. <claps> Applause for you. That is one of the main reasons I want to see the 4K. The other reason is that it also looks like it was shot beautifully. Uh, but you know what? Saying that, I don't know. I haven't really been that impressed with uh, DC transfers. Warner Brothers, if you're watching this shit and there so happens to be an extended version of Wonder Woman and you don't put it on the 4K disc, asses are going to bleed in this bitch. I'm talking umbrellas and all sorts. Transformers The Last Night is out on June 23rd. So that should make it this year. That's going to look beautiful. Say what you will about a director. You know, he is the way he is. But God damn, that movie is going to look great. You know it's going to look great if it decides to come out in 4K. I'm waiting for the other Transformer movies to come out in 4K Blu-ray. And if you're going to do it, if you're going to release it in 4K, the previous movies, then can you please do it in some kind of motherfucking box set? Because I'm not paying for them individually in this bitch. I did that for Bourne. I got fucked up. We didn't have the box set here in the UK. We got fucked. Once again, now we're down to my last three most anticipated. I've saved these ones for last, and I'm not talking about the movies themselves because I want to watch them anyway because I have no idea whether they're going to be as good as I want them to be or not. But what I will say is, in terms of what I see from the trailers, what gets me excited for 4K, these are the three. Alien Covenant. God damn! Anything with Ridley Scott and Aliens is a win-win. I even like Prometheus in this bitch. I'll tell you something else. HDR better be on point for that because you know how you like your dark corridors and what have you. Get That better get an A1 HDR grading in this bitch. 
I like the first movie with Brendan Fraser and shit. Now that looks like a reboot of sorts. And you've got Tom Cruise in this bitch. Tom Cruise does not make shit movies, okay? He doesn't. This is going to be a great movie. It's going to be enjoyable at the very least, yeah? So this is going to be a great movie. And the special effects, everything I've seen from it looks like it's got all the potential to be a great looking 4K Blu-ray release. And that's out June 9th. So that's going to make it to the 4K in this bitch this year. I'm going to leave out July because July is cutting it a bit close. It may still make it. I know this, there's other titles, but these are the ones right now for the first half of the year, which I'm looking forward to, which definitely can make it. But this is the last one. She's already been on 4K already. And those lips in 4K? God damn. Scarlett Johansson, baby. You nasty. Ghost in the show? Have you seen the recent trailer of that bitch? God damn. The city, the scope. She appears to be naked in this bitch. In 4K, you're going to see a lot more of that shit. That is my most anticipated 4K transfer of this year. That will make it. A lot of these titles are going to make it this year. Yeah? There's some in July. I think July onwards is pushing it a little thin. But these ones, definitely, I'm looking forward to. You know, obviously, Spider-Man's going to be another one. But those are latter half of the year. These ones are coming soon. And I can't wait. What Blu-rays, based on your trailers you've seen coming out this year, are you guys looking forward to? Let me know. Just, just leave comments. Let's talk about this, bitch. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. Hit the like button if you like this shit. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Just in case you didn't know, playtime is over.